I'm struggling heavily to get this video made because we've got a huge thunderstorm, heavy rains going on outside. Things aren't soundproof around here, so if you hear the occasional crack, that is not me getting being beaten, but that is just the thunder outside. This is an updated video to Element Pack Pro by BD Themes. They had released their lifetime licenses last year and multi-licenses, and we did a video on them that time. Now they have updated their package add-on for Elementor to version 3. And based on the new widgets that are coming in, some of them really nice, and I think you'd be very interested to see what they've got up their sleeve, I decided to just make this quick overview video on version 3 so you can have a look. If you've never checked out anything from BD Themes and their Element Pack Pro add-on, then you probably didn't know that these guys, I guess, don't sleep because they've got the biggest selection of widgets available for Elementor at the moment and probably at the best price as well. Now in version three, you will see those little ones with the pink dots say new, and these are the new ones that have been added to version three. Anytime you are confused and want to know what's going on, what has been fixed, what is new, you can go to the website in the link below and click on change lock. And I like the change lock. It's always very clear and updated very quickly. So what we see is the introduction of these new widgets, seven of them, and then revamping current ones. That's also nicely done. And we will look at all of these in individual videos in the upcoming weeks. Well, then what do we have here? We've got OpenStreetMap, and that is an alternative to Google Maps, Video Gallery, Help Desk, Charts, 360-degree product viewer, WooCommerce slider, and table of content. And now I want to hit myself with a shovel. You know, there's one thing that annoys me so much when I watch any video, and that is when the person, the presenter, is reading, right? It's like you can't read, and they are reading it on behalf of you. So please, sorry, bear with that little part that I read it out for you. Let's rather go and have a quick look at what these guys can do. OpenStreetMap is an open source alternative to Google Maps. I had played around with it a little bit in the last weeks, and really, you are going to be able to do with this what Google Maps also can do. You're not going to have all the features that Google Maps bring to you, but this is an alternative, and especially if you have a high click rate on your site, you don't have to care about the current Google API key system. This is the OpenStreetMap. Then the video gallery, something that we've seen in other add-ons for Elementor, standard playlist. I would have called it rather a playlist, video playlist feature. You have it here on the right, and you also have it at the bottom. The charts, very nice feature, something for people in the corporate world. This is a feature that we'll definitely be looking at. Pie charts, who doesn't like a pie chart? And then the 360 product viewer for people into WooCommerce. And I'll quickly show you soon how this one works. Then also staying with WooCommerce, they've got a very nice slider that they've added with various kinds of skins. And that's what I always like, presets. Give me my presets, baby. And then table of content. JB, what is this? This looks so boring. No, 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 no. Look in the bottom left-hand corner. Oh, wow, nice, Peter. Oh, Sally. Oh, Tammy, come have a look over here, everybody. And there you see. I'm looking very much forward to this. If you have a long thesis or essay that you have to post online, I can see universities going for this. Very nice feature. I'm looking forward to trying this one and not looking forward to typing all that text just to show how it works. Then if you go into your Elementor and you add it, oh, Element Pack, if you scroll down here in the widgets, it's never ending. So the problem with Element Pack is you need to have some idea of what the name of a widget is because you have to search it in the search bar. So for one of the new ones, let's look at that 361 and there we've got the 360 degrees product viewer. Um, let's just quickly drag a section in here. Let's make it a two column and then we'll look again for 360 and I'm going to drag it in. Now for this, of course, you have to know how 360 product view work. You can do it with a cell phone. It's going to take you some time. You get yourself a rotating chair. Uh, you put your chihuahua on the chair and you tell the chihuahua not to move for the next 10 minutes. And then you move the chair slightly and you take photos from different angles. Then you take it into Photoshop and you get my drift. What you do is you bring those images into your media library, but it's going to be a headache and you have to make sure that when you bring them in, you bring them in correctly in chronological order because I just dragged and dropped this 
these bunch of shoes and I'm going to show you, you're going to think what's going on. Let me show you. It's going to display here and it's all jittery. There is nothing wrong with this widget. That is because the photos are mixed up. If I show you, let's clear them. And then add once. If I start here at the bottom, it starts at two. Oh wait, let's, let's just add them. I remember that was easier. Add them. It starts here at uh, 207, then 208, then 210, and then 209. And that's why you are seeing that jittery movement. So if you didn't load them in chronological order, you will have to come in here and go through each one and make sure you align them in the correct order. Otherwise, they are going to go all Michael Jackson on you like they are doing over here. This is a worthwhile upgrade for people who still have the pack. Of course, you're going to get the upgrade. No problem for that. If you're interested to go and see what all these, and I'm getting a stroke and seizure from looking at those shoes. If you are interested in finding out more about these, plugins and these add-ons for Elementor, both for the free and the pro, and lots of videos coming. Um, I've had a lot of requests, especially regarding the WooCommerce plugins. We'll be featuring them in the weeks to come. Oh yeah, check out the link in the description below. That's an affiliate link, which means if you do decide to buy this pack, you won't be spending a cent more, but I'll be getting a little something, something to say, thank you for all your efforts, Superman. Yep. And this is JP with Websites for Beginners.